in this discussion you can see how to use read method and what is the purpose of this method we will see in this discussion if you missed previous discussion about how to use search underscore count or a method please check link is given in description uh, first I'm going to the browser for the record purpose so I'm going to student profile you can see here total 16 profiles is available in this discussion we are trying to differentiate search and read method like what is the difference between two and why we need to use this read method the first thing is a read method is low level RPC or a method uh, which means it won't be display, uh, it won't be written any record set, but uh, it will return as a list of dictionary pair. Uh, let's say in this profile, uh, this student profile having uh, at least 10 fields, so it will return as a dictionary each field like a key and value pair. Key is a field name and value is a value of this of that field. Uh, it will return from the database and uh, ORM will convert into list of dictionary pair and one more thing is if you want to return only specific fields only that time also it will use this method but let's see how it's work first of all I'm adding one more object for the student profile student underscore list like stud underscore obj dot search and you can see here we have total 16 records uh, sorry for the count you can see 16 right here so now what we have to do is you can see here the search method will return record set but let's say if you want to use uh, as a search method and want to return as a, as a key value pair it is also possible like only we have to do is list dot read and we have to pass here the blank list so you can see here all the dicks like list of dictionary visible and uh, I will copy this one and again go to browser and paste it here you can see this is a first record this is a first record then after this is a second record so you can see here basically the ID is a 3 name is a XYZ then after school ID yes here one more thing you have to understand is like uh, uh, we have like the relational fields three types of relational fields one is a many to one second is a one to many and third is a many to many so this is a many to one field and here in this field you will get something like this like school underscore id is a many to one field it will return always as a tuple so the zero index always having id of that primary table which is school profile and then after this is the name name of the school then after you can see here this is many to many field this many to many field will return as a list of ids and this is a boolean one like true or false boolean field this is a character field or text field you can see here one more thing is currency underscore id which is many to one field so you can see here like uh, it will return something like this so whenever you are trying to get data from uh, from the database side but you only need uh, only need as a key value pair that time you can use read method so something like this it will return by default but yeah one more thing is uh, if you want to yeah but if you want to return like specific fields only 
like id then after name then after like something like this total fees then after school underscore id and then but but there so it will return only and only those fields so you can see this is our query of the read method and you can see we are it will return as a list of dictionary again i will copy this one and going to browser and paste here and you can see here this is our first record this is our second record something like this it will return so id name then after total fees school underscore id and the bird dad it will return based on the past value in in list parameter you can see here and yes one more thing is if you by mistakenly you forgot about id let's say i didn't add id in list view so it will always return the id by default because that's uh, the id is a unique identifier of each record so whenever you are passing any data so obviously we need some unique identifier so it will always return id if you forgot a, if you forgot that id in uh, list in this list then obviously it will always return because it's a mandatory one then after like user can identify okay this record is for is for this id so like this way this read method is working but the thing is you already have one uh, object having a record set let's say in this our case we have this student as for list we having a record set but uh, when you have this record set then after it is easy to use or convert your record set into list of dictionary something like this also you can pass as a blank only read that's it and if you want to pass any specific field name you want to return only then you have to pass here like name and you can see here id3 name something like this id4 and name something like this so it will give you as a list of dictionary parameter so one more thing you have to remember is like read method return like list of dictionary value pair then after you have to pass uh, by default it's a blank parameter if you will pass as a blank parameter then it will return all the all the fields if you want to return any specific fields only then you have to here pass that specific field name such as name only but the thing is you will not get only single single colon you will always return with id as a key and value pair so that's it for the read method and if you have any query or doubt please comment below and see you in next session